parents outraged at leaked documents from the province that show changes to Alberta's school curriculum. Among the biggest changes drawing anger, potentially eliminating references to Canada's residential schools. The burden is on Alberta education to make sure that students are getting uh, a wider education that encompasses that diversity. Heather Buzilla is a parent and former school teacher. She's shocked by proposed changes to the curriculum from the province, explaining that not teaching diversity now leads to problems later. You know, no diversity is just not how the world works. And I think taking away education about that and knowledge of that um, will lead to prejudices and racism in, in the future. Buzilla, not the only Alberta parent questioning the government's choices. Jennifer Newman says her kids and others are old enough to learn about Canada's problematic history. So you're saying that kids in Alberta can't learn about bad things that happened to kids in Alberta, but it's fine to learn about what happened you know, hundreds of years ago on a different continent. Education Minister Adriana Lagrange responding to criticism Wednesday, continuously saying that these changes from the curriculum review panel are still being worked on. Um, advice is just that, it's advice. It, advice is advice, advice is just advice. Well, in advice, uh, we have a number of uh, advisors that uh, have provided advice to us. Lagrange later explaining that learning about residential schools was quote, non-negotiable. As I have said, numerous, numerous times. We are absolutely committed to truth and reconciliation and to ensuring that uh, the, the truth about residential schools, about that content, is in our K-6 curriculum. NDP education critic Sarah Hoffman doesn't believe that, saying the minister has promised a lot of things that were later walked back on. I also heard the minister say at the beginning of the pandemic that funding would be kept in place. They cut $128 million within a couple of weeks. I don't take the minister at her word. Jennifer Newman is also a nurse. She says this is one more reason why her family is considering leaving the province. My husband and I have spoken on multiple occasions about possibly selling the house, possibly moving to a different province, and this is one more thing. In Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.